Apart from being fantastic cities, what else do New York City, London, Madrid and Mumbai have in common? Well, you know that they've all suffered atrocious terrorist attacks this century. There's been a frenzy since these attacks and international security concerns have been reorganised to cater for and reduce the risk of such attacks occurring in the future. In the UK, you may have heard of our MI5 and MI6 intelligence organisations and in Hollywood, the James Bond movies. Well, whichever country you live in, it's highly likely you have your own intelligence services and maybe even your own blockbuster spy movies. It's an exciting area and it tracks global political interest in the media on a daily basis. I'm Dr. Les Ball and I'm here to tell you a little bit about this new MSc course in Intelligence and Security Informatics. It's been launched as part of the school's portfolio of security courses and also due to the UK government's call on prioritising terrorism and cyber security in terms of the defence budget. The uniqueness of the course is that it calls on the multidisciplinary subjects of computing, data analysis, psychology and sociology within a framework of government intelligence and law enforcement. I expect most of you have been through a security system at an airport, so I just wanted to show you some of the research that's going on at the university here. This is what we call our biometrics portal. So for example, have you ever had your fingerprints taken or a picture of your face taken at an airport? Did you feel comfortable doing this? Or do you think there are ethical and privacy reasons why you think this is wrong? Did you know how to interact with the technology? Are you aware that we live in a surveillance society in the UK? Do you think the benefits of this outweigh the drawbacks? Most people now use the internet. You're perhaps aware that you leave a digital trail every time you access the net. This trail can form evidence in a court of law for digital forensics investigations into, for example, child protection. But do you see this as forming the Big Brother Society, or do you think this is absolutely necessary to bring criminals to justice? Do you like playing with data and information? Does the idea of intelligence gathering and crime analysis excite you? And do you wonder about how clever computers can actually be in terms of helping us make decisions? All of these questions bring together the technologists, psychologists and sociologists' points of view in the debate on border controls, terrorism, crime prevention and cyber security. The best parts of this course for me are the practical parts where we actually get our hands dirty. I'm from a social science background. Even in the social world we need tools and here I found the tools work with crime mapping, we have data mining, we have intelligence. There's a lot of techniques that we don't actually get to know or use in that at the end undergraduate level, but here you can actually try it. I thought the combination of IT with these other with these other skills would be a good combination that can be applied in a lot of different places. For me, you know obviously I've came from an IT background so the multidisciplinary aspect was a big draw. In things like psychology, of which I have no experience, um, the classes were built around um, people not having such a great background knowledge in psychology, which was a, a big advantage. I think the skills that I've got here, and the knowledge of intelligence and security, these are these are skills that are always going to be needed. And, you know, they're never going to go away. So I think there's a lot of opportunities in the diverse range of. Um, job opportunities available. Especially in police and security department, especially if I compare with my own country, then there's a lot of uh, problem, security problem nowadays. No, there's a lot of opportunities in my country after doing this course over from here. It's been a fun, a fun and challenging course. It's both. Yeah. Anybody thinking of this course, I would tell them to um, take the challenge. Um, don't be afraid of it being multidisciplinary. That's going to be an advantage. And I think anybody thinking of this course will gain a lot of skills out of it, especially if they're coming from one specific background. Um, you, it's possible to gain skills in different areas and I would definitely encourage them to. If you want to know more about the course, please visit the website.